All right, so I'm regenerating my site with a few more blog posts put in, and this is the output of the slice and dice script, and uh, there's 469 entries, and Git has just transmitted the new files up to GitHub, and I can go back into my blog, and you can see my latest blog post is introducing the new Bing, how to get indexed. So what I'm doing now is I'm playing with my uh, crawl tool, and uh, that drops its uh, data files into here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just delete uh, all the data files in there. None of them are, are that big. It's particularly the depth one I want to get rid of because uh, that's the main crawl that's done. I don't crawl for response objects and I won't delete them all I don't really need to but I don't crawl for this other stuff until I have what's called a link graph and so I'm gonna reset this here you can see the last time I, I ran it though actually it found 466 uh, content items URLs off of my uh, blog that I'm having it crawl so here's my blog that's what I just published over here and from 466 it's up to what I think was 469 so if I reset kernel clear all outputs now I can uh, run it from the top basically and that's just this these are just for display here and that other line that was up there was really just for uh, oh and it's still saying 466 so I'm gonna stop that so what's going on there is that even though I published it it just didn't get to the web yet and you can see that the depth DB came back so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and I'm gonna go over to um, directory not found crawl okay yeah it's still the right thing I'm gonna go over to uh, Chrome which is where I uh, oftentimes uh, check my site so I check my this is the site itself I could go in there but I'm gonna go into github instead which shows me the generation um, process and you can see it just went from yellow to green so there really are those pages really are on my blog now I could show you before and after going into the blog or I could just uh, re-trigger that crawl to go off again and you'll see that 466 probably changed to another number 468 there's 469 total, but one of them's probably not linked to the uh, long page version, I think, which doesn't do anyone any good. So, let's see. Visiting two. Oh, hmm. I click depth two. Yeah, I'm going to reset that again because I don't think I reset it from the beginning. See how that says two? It knew the other stuff in memory from before. So, one more try we delete the database file that shows the link graph maybe I should call it link graph I think it got deleted delete failed because the first one really did work now we kernel restart kernel and clear all outputs and now it should have uh, fresh memory and uh, new access to the site and that number should be 468 and now it's enumerating see it didn't do all these dots before because it already had them that was the thing huh it definitely didn't get as many dots as I thought it was going to uh, let's see how many uh, URLs it shows so for I comma URL in enumerate DB oh we want to print I as well and see if it goes up to the number we want and uh, it does there's 467 it's a zero based index so that's 468 URLs that I I just crawled a light crawl I didn't store the content of the pages uh, I'll get rid of displaying that I and then it becomes a uh, copy paste ready bunch of text for a uh, URL submission right so I just go down I pick up all the URLs from my blog and then I go over that page that you've seen me sort of flirting with here which is the Microsoft Bing webmaster tools submit URLs you can do up to 10,000 so with 468 I am safely within the limit one URL per line submit And now for 
the domain mikelev.in, Bing has gone from basically knowing no URLs on it to knowing about uh, 468 which it will still have to you know visit and learn stuff about it's not like uh, that gave it the actual content of the page but at least now uh, I know that Bing knows about the URLs in my in my site which is important because I am referring to these in conversation on almost a daily basis now with Bing to make sure I understand uh, what it understands and that it understands what I understand. I am going for quite a feedback loop here. If anyone is a fan of person of interest TV show and the <laughs> machine AI star of the show, uh, you'll appreciate what I'm trying to do here, which is akin to the episode called Ram, where there was an outside company that transposed uh, stuff that the machine knew so that it could read it again later and not lose its memory uh, every night. So there you have it, my little sci-fi geeky SEO experiments uh, in process, uh, broadening my experiments now to the Bing uh, Webmaster Tools site because I... Uh, because of chat, Bing chat AI, because of Bing chat AI, uh, this site has now become significantly uh, more important uh, than it was in the past. Thanks for joining me. Join, join in again soon and uh, talk to you soon.